So out of tragedy uh, comes the opportunity to create what I think will be the best small city in the world. And there are extraordinary opportunities for anyone who wants to be part of it. Following the February 2011 quakes, I think it was clear that a timely, focused, expedited recovery process was required. Recovery is never an instant or a momentary thing. Recovery is something that we will be engaged in over a long period of time and things we do under the recovery will affect this province for decades to come. And we established a dedicated government agency in Christchurch for Christchurch, the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority, to provide leadership, quick action on urgent priorities and coordinate the efforts uh, required for recovery. Key task for Sarah has been to restore confidence in our physical environment. It's been a big task, but we're now rezoned, uh, or have rezoned almost 190,000 households or properties throughout the city and wider Christchurch and in the CBD. The zoning has restored, I think, uh, confidence that we can rebuild Christchurch and restore our homes and our neighbourhoods with the comfort of knowing that should this event occur again, that with a similar quake in the future, it would not cause the same level of devastation. How and where we work has also been changed. In the CBD and suburbs, 1,600 buildings needed to be partially or completely demolished. An ambitious deadline was set to reduce the CBD red cordon. Uh, in February 2011, the cordon was around the four avenues and enclosed 387 hectares. Today, this area is reduced to 49 hectares. The challenge that I think we need to accept uh, from today is that in five years' time, the event that defines the lives of a generation of Cantabrians is no longer the earthquakes, but what we've been able to achieve in the recreation of the magnificent new Christchurch. We have to make it exceptional. We have to both public and private sectors focus on creating only the best facilities. We have a fabulous new airport, a restored port, and uh, we are building superior roads, connecting us better than ever before with the rest of the South Island and the world. There is now a unity around the future of Christchurch that I doubt any other city anywhere in New Zealand has ever had. The policy has to be that everything we decide to do in Christchurch is going to be the best. What's more, we need to do it quickly, uh, and to use the jargon, we need to make sure it's future-proofed. We can't build all this overnight, but I don't think we should delay. Our goal should be that within a decade, Christchurch is clearly recognised as the best small city in the world in which to bring up kids, open a business, go to the art gallery, study at university, watch the All Blacks, make money, create jobs, build a home. But I do think we can be very, very proud of what we've achieved here in recovery over the past two years. I think to do anything else denies how big the problem was. There's little doubt that the shared experience since that time has come to define our lives as Cantabrians. But I do think our challenge in the next five years is to move from that event being the defining moment for this generation of Cantabrians to the way in which we rebuild and recreate the city to being the defining moment for us in our lives as we're part of the recreation of a magnificent new Christchurch. We've proven we're among the best most resilient, strongest people in the world, and we can do things fast. The challenge now is to get out there, do it fast, and make it the best quality we possibly can. Thank you.